I'm John Cameron Swayze, and I want to tell you the story of the Order of Demolay, an organization dedicated to the purposes of helping young men from 14 to 21 years of age to become better sons, better citizens, and to prepare for the years of manhood. This international youth movement has, for more than two score years, served as a stimulus for high ideals to the almost three million boys who have based on its teaching of love of God, love of parents, and love of country. March 18, 1314. It was a scene so tragic that tradition tells us even the grinning gargoyles turned their heads so as not to witness death given as the reward of loyalty to comrades and fidelity to a valiant cause. This story was told to nine boys in the early spring of 1919 by Frank S. Land. They were so challenged and inspired that from this simple beginning, the Order of De Malay was founded. Masonic groups sponsored chapters, and De Malay flourished into an organization that today encompasses the world. Frank S. Land became dad to thousands of young men. He was able to capture all the drama and pageantry of the Crusades and the virtues of knighthood and make them true to a generation living in the age of space and astronauts. Until his death in 1959, he served the Order of Demolay for 40 years as founder and secretary general. The youth movement continues as a living symbol and monument to his memory. With his appreciation of the virtues that have been a guide of good conduct, recognized by peoples of all nations in all generations, he wove with skill throughout the Demolay program the idealism of a crown of youth with its seven cardinal virtues. They are filial love, reverence, courtesy, comradeship, fidelity, cleanness, patriotism. One of the honorary degrees symbolizes these virtues. At the symbolic altar of filial love and with these flowers of affection, I dedicate you anew to the Demolay ideal of loving sonship. At the symbolic altar of faith and with these green sprigs of immortality, I dedicate you anew to the faith of our fathers, a faith that builds cities, founds homes, and preserves nations, a faith that makes youth strong and manhood gentle, as purpose and plan are with certainty unfolded before us. At the symbolic altar of courtesy, and with these pure roses of white, I dedicate you anew to the Demolay ideals of that thoughtful consideration for others, 
which is the only true refinement. On the symbolic altar of comradeship, I dedicate you anew to the Demolay ideals of loyalty to all your fellows in every contact of your life. At the symbolic altar of fidelity and with these flowers of blue that are the immemorial symbol of that virtue, I dedicate you anew to the Demolay ideals of faithfulness of all the obligations of your life. At the symbolic altar of cleanness, I dedicate you anew to the Demoy ideals of clean living, clean speaking, and clean thinking. The great message of Demoy to its members and to the world is this. A clean mind in a clean body is the best preparation for a clean manhood upon which clean citizenship depends. At the symbolic altar of patriotism and with these red roses, I dedicate you anew to the Demolay ideals of citizenship, the bravery that springs to the defense of this flag and your country's honor if conflict comes, and the bravery that offers the heroism of good citizenship in time of peace. Dadland's office illustrates the character of men who have reflected the training received in De Molay. Their photographs line the walls of his office. Generals. Entertainers. Statesmen. Business leaders and countless others who have made eminent success in all walks of life are found among these photographs. Demolays are taught responsibility and given the opportunity of expressing themselves freely before a group of fellow youths as officers of a chapter. This presents wonderful training for individual members and at the same time teaches all members the importance of taking an integral part in activities to derive the most benefit from any organization. Each chapter has 23 officers, four of whom are elected, the rest being appointed by the presiding officer, known as the Master Counselor. Terms of office vary from three to six months, thus giving ample opportunity for many to enjoy the pleasure of being an officer. Although basically the Demolay members run the chapter and its activities themselves, they are supervised and guided by a group of master masons serving as an advisory council. They too meet to discuss problems of the chapter and exchange ideas on how they can help further the purposes of the Demolay organization. Each of these men is a volunteer who donates his time, energy, and money in the interest of young men. The highest achievement that can come to a Demolay member is to receive the degree of Chevalier, given in recognition of exceptional service in behalf of Demolay and his chapter. Each designate rededicates himself to all the Demolay vows and obligates himself to perpetual loyalty and service to his country. The activities of a Demolay chapter have a wide range and scope and no two chapters will be exactly the same. But there are representative activities in every area that typify any Demolay chapter. It is proven fact that all young men like the fun of and indeed require the physical exercise of athletic activities to some degree. And the Demolay chapter offers something for every individual's taste. Several basketball tournaments on a jurisdiction or statewide basis are held for Demolay chapters. And many Demolay basketball leagues are formed annually. These teams are usually made up of boys who are not playing on the high school teams. Softball is another popular sport. Demolay members can also compete in local, jurisdictional, and international rifle tournaments. Bowling has
has become a popular sport among members, and many Demolay bowling leagues are in operation. Outdoor activities also receive a good measure of participation by various Demolay chapters, with swimming meets and just general fun swimming occupying a large share of attention and interest. Many jurisdictional swimming competitions are held. Track two is popular. as is volleyball. Water ski. And canoe racing. An annual canoe derby in Minnesota has the contestants racing down the upper waters of the Mississippi River as paddles dip down and out. Practically every Demolay chapter depends on a certain number of fundraising activities each year to supplement the money collected from dues. The products, like Christmas cards or light bulbs, are always such that they give full value for any money received. The activities teach the members the value of handling their money wisely and the need for proper planning and organization. The sales may be made door to door, in business buildings, or on the street. Car washes, rummage sales, and dances are the most common fundraising projects. For car washes, the chapter makes an arrangement with a local service station. Some chapters use ingenuity and come up with such plans as a chapter waiters club. Note the handsome red jackets used. The club earns money by serving dinners at Masonic and Civic Affairs. The size of the group served may number as high as 500. Every Demolay chapter participates in a variety of civic activities as a service to the community or selected charitable groups. Washing windshields for drivers is a service oftentimes performed in the interest of traffic safety. The driver is informed of this demolay service by a card placed under the windshield wiper. Many chapters have certain projects that they carry on year after year, such as delivering baskets of food to needy families. With the increase of litter along highways and city streets, demolay chapter members find it helpful to their local communities to clean up this litter. These civic service projects have not only become long-standing traditions and customs, but ones of pride for the individual chapter members. There are many group activities that a typical chapter sponsors. It may be a dramatic group that produces plays or short humorous skits. Or it may be a precision group like the famous Black Knights, a drum and bugle corps of Tancred chapter in Belleville, Illinois.
something of an even more unusual musical nature, such as the Caldwell, New Jersey, Demolay Bagpipe Band. As part of the well-balanced program of any Demolay chapter, you have a social side for members. These are healthy social activities that any young man enjoys. In the summertime, there are hayrides, moonlight cruises, and picnics around a campfire. swimming pool or beach is another favorite location for a fun-filled afternoon. And dances are popular socials, whatever the season of the year. Practically every Demolay chapter elects annually a chapter sweetheart who competes later for the title of jurisdictional sweetheart. These lovely young misses make a beautiful sight as they parade before the judges. Can anyone say who's the prettiest when so many could be claimed the winner? But as in all competitions, someone must win and others lose. So the judges bolster their courage, compare notes, and choose a winner. Amid the usual tears and happiness, the lovely young lady is crowned in a royal manner. Although Demolay ritual and meetings are greatly reverent, the organization does not advocate any particular creed, but teaches only a profound faith in the one living and true God. Ever mindful of this supreme being, when the hour of 9 p.m. arrives, no matter what the Demolay activity is, all other actions cease, and there is held what is called the 9 o'clock interpolation. My brothers, at this hour all over our land, mothers are bending above the bed wherein lie the children they love. At this hour also, Guests and institutions are preparing for the hour of rest. Let us pause a moment in our deliberations while the chaplain offers a prayer. Brother Chaplain, you will lead us in prayer. Demolays will kneel on left knee. Visitors will remain standing. Our Father, the sons of loving and indulgent parents, we invoke thy divine blessing upon all the fathers and mothers of our country and of all the world. And wilt thou pour out a special blessing for our mothers, who have watched over us with unceasing care during all the years of our lives. May we ever realize that we are brothers of the helpless and suffering, and rejoice at every call to the relief of pain or the alleviation of sorrow. We invoke thy divine blessings upon all those who labor for the relief of suffering and need. Help us to lead upright and patriotic lives, worthy of the devotion of all those who have labored for our beloved country in every field of sacrifice and service. Amen. God bless Mother. God bless Father. God bless the purposes of the Malay. Amen. Jurisdictional conclaves are among the many fun-filled gatherings for Demolay chapter members. By bringing the members of many chapters together, new friendships are formed, and an abundance of fellowship is enjoyed over a period of a few days. Conclave activities include ritual and athletic competitions and general business meetings. 
these conclaves take place in a variety of surroundings, such as the luxurious Hotel Fountain Blow at Miami Beach, or the quiet serenity of a tree-shaded camp in Wisconsin. There's nothing like the outdoors and the setting of being close to nature and thus God to create inspiration and understanding in those attending toward the principles and programs of the Malay. For the modern Robin Hood, it gives an opportunity to pull the bow. And other more popular sports like basketball come in for their share of attention also. Isn't it a thrill to go galloping through the woods on a horse? One of the most beautiful public ceremonies of De Malay is the flower talk, a tribute to motherhood, which concludes... These flowers, which you see on our altar, are symbols of that mother love. The white, the mother who is gone. The red, the mother who still lives to bless your life. We want each of you to take a flower from this altar. If your mother has passed over to the other shore, take a white flower and keep it always sacred to her memory. May the sight of it quicken every tender memory of her and strengthen you anew in your efforts to be worthy of her hopes and aspirations for you. If your mother is living, take a red flower. When you go home tonight, give it to your mother. Tell her it is our recognition of God's best gift to man his mother's love. Someday you'll find that flower I know not where, perhaps in her Bible or prayer book or some other sacred place, a silent witness to what this night has meant to the one whose love for you, her son, is beyond the comprehension of any son. De Malay can ask no more of you than that you shall endeavor so to live as to be worthy of that love. Mothers play a vital role in a chapter's activities through the formation of a mother's club. Practically every chapter has one. The mother's club renders a multitude of services for the chapter members, but primarily in the area of providing refreshments and helping with fundraising projects. There comes a time, too, when the chapter robes need repair or replacement, and the mother's talents in sewing come in handy. No matter what service is needed, the mothers are always there, ready to help their de Malay sons. The highest honor that can be bestowed upon a senior de Malay is the Legion of Honor, given in recognition of outstanding adult leadership. In a solemn and impressive ceremony, the designates are obligated and knighted legionnaires. For God, for country, for de Malay, Arise, right, Legionnaire. Demolays everywhere participate in a devotional service on the Sunday nearest March 18th and rededicate themselves to the principles of the Order of Demolay. This special day commemorates both the martyrdom of Jacques Demolay in the 14th century and the founding of the Order of Demolay in 1919. The religion of a Demolay is a religion that is true and has the essence of all great faith. It is based upon the finest of the Christian revelation and the Hebrew tradition. It implies a belief in God and in those qualities that have always made a man or a civilization great. Uh, such qualities as 
a truth and a righteousness, of hope and courage, of love and the appreciation of the beautiful. Uh, indeed, the teaching is that we should live so as to make true the meaning of one of the ritual prayers, that we may become more knightly for God and our beloved country, more chivalrous for our fellow men, and more valiant for de Molay by serving God in serving God's humanity. The scenes and activities that have been presented are typical of those that a young man, 14 to 21 years of age, sees and participates in when he accepts the right hand of friendship and shares the fellowship of a Demolay chapter and becomes an integral part of a chapter. Demolay does not attempt to take the place of the home, church, or school, but rather to supplement them. The organization's purpose is to offer the teenage boy of today, first, a wholesome occupation for his spare time. Second, worthwhile associates. Third, the best of environment. And fourth, an interesting and complete program of all around youth development. By meeting these goals, the Malay leaders believe our young men learn to become better sons, better citizens, and better leaders, thereby providing a better world for tomorrow.